Paddling TV is brought to you by Appomattox River Company, the largest canoe and kayak specialty store in the country. We ship anywhere. Call us at 1-800-442-4837 or visit us online at paddleva.com. Surf kayaking is the most exciting and physically demanding of sea kayaking activities and is by far the best place to build your rough water paddling skills. There really are few feelings like cruising along the water, playing with the power of the ocean. Of course, when you're playing with crashing waves in shallow water, it also has the potential of being dangerous. So make sure you pick an appropriate place to play that you're paddling with experienced paddlers and that you are comfortable with your rescue and self-rescue skills. The best way to start is to take a course through an established club or school. The best surfing kayaks are specialized ones, designed specifically for the purpose of surfing ocean waves, although whitewater playboats also work great. Because sea kayaks are designed for speed, they aren't the ideal surf kayak, although they can still be a blast and they do have the ability to catch smaller waves further out from shore. Although the pounding of breaking waves provides a hazard on its own, Rip tides are the primary cause of swimmer rescues at surf beaches because they can be tricky to spot and are surprisingly powerful. Rip currents are formed when water gets pushed up the beach by breaking waves and then gets pulled back out by gravity. Since waves can continually push more and more water up the beach, there could be a lot of water looking for the quickest way back out to the ocean. Many rip currents are well known by the local paddlers or surfers and it's worth asking around about them. The biggest factors when choosing a surf spot are the size of the waves and the nature of the beach where the waves are breaking. If the beach is a long, gradual slope, waves will usually stand up nicely and be good for kayak surfing. A beach that drops off quickly will cause waves to jack up and dump on the beach, which isn't surfing friendly. Of course, it's also best to surf at a sandy beach rather than one made up of rocks. It'll make getting in and out a whole lot easier and safer.